Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGM007, and today we're looking at the Staff Plus plugin. So, this is a really useful plugin for your staff members uh, that allows them to track players, make sure they're not doing anything wrong, and look at reports and whatnot. So, the command we need to use is forward slash staff, and this puts us into staff mode. So, once we're in here, we have lots of different items in our hotbar that do various things. So the first one is a launcher. It allows your staff members who aren't in creative mode uh, to get about quickly and whatnot. The next one is random teleport. So you can randomly teleport to all of your online players and make sure they are not doing anything they shouldn't. The next one is vanish. Uh, very straightforward. This uh, makes you invisible and then visible again when you click it. It's just a toggle. Then the GUI hub. So this has all of the reports. Um, that your players will get. So we have one at the moment. I reported my other account for being suspicious. Click it and you can teleport to him and um, yeah, he looks pretty suspicious standing out in this desert with a sword. The next one is the staff list and it says um, who the staff are and where they are. Next one is the freeze um, item and if we right click my other account, he will be frozen and he will not be able to move. The next one is clicks per second. So if someone's got a mining hack, they might be clicking really quickly to get loads of diamonds or whatnot. So this will test and see how many clicks they do. And he is obviously AFK doing zero clicks per second, so he's probably not very dangerous. The next one is the examine tool. So right click a player and then you can see what is in his inventory. So you can't pick anything up in here but um, you can have a look at his food, his IP address, which I'm going to block out, um, his game mode, so he's an adventure at the moment apparently, how many reports he's got and how many warnings, his location, and then any notes about him. And then obviously you can freeze him as well. The final one is the follow um, command, and obviously you can follow him by sitting on his head. But uh, that is how the four slash staff button works in game. You can also use the four slash report button, um, so you can get a report for my other account, and he has one at the moment. Let's give him another by doing forward slash report and then the player name, followed by the reason. So let's just put hacking. And then if we get his reports, we now see that he's got two reports and he should probably be looked into. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the config.yml. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we will see it's a very, very long file, 898 lines. Uh, but you don't really need to edit too much of it. So up at the top, uh, there's some general stuff. You can block various commands. You can change your language. Um, and these commands will not be allowed to be used at all. Um, scroll down some more. And we will see the report section. So we use the forward slash report command. And you can change the sound if you want to. You can set a cooldown so people don't spam it. And we can show the reporter so we know who did it. And they're not um, doing it incorrectly. Then we have the warning section, so if you get three warnings, you will be banned. Um, so obviously you can change that, and then there is the ban command. Uh, so you can put your website in here and they can appeal. Scroll down even more and we have some information about the vanish section, uh, whether you want it to use vanish or not. Scroll down even more and we have the chat section, whether you want um, 100 lines to be cleared when they use the force slash chat clear command and whether it's enabled. And then we have a lot of words that are blocked out. So I'm obviously going to black out these words because they're quite awful and uh, there's some awful characters here as well. So I've got to remember to do that. Um, but you can add loads of bad words here and players will not be able to use them. They will be censored, which is great. Then here we can ban people trying to advertise or, and stop them from putting IP addresses from other servers, which is great. Scroll down even more and we have the ticket section, whether we want it to use that or not. And we have some alerts when um, a user changes their name, for example, or a staff, mention is, staff member is mentioned. Some information about the staff mode, so all of the items, hunger, loss, creative, blah, blah, blah. So you can turn all of this on and off if you want to. And then I believe we have all of the different items um, that we get when we do forward slash staff. So you could customize that, but you really don't have to. As you can see, it just gives the slot, whether it's enabled or not, and then the item name law. And um, for this particular one, it's the amount of times the test runs for and the maximum allowed CPS. 
So if you're doing more than 16 clicks per second, which is quite a lot, um, you're probably up to some no good business. But that is pretty much everything. Um, you obviously have some uh, permissions down here that you can use if you want players to use a particular command. But yeah, that is the plugin. It's really awesome. Um, it would be really useful for your server. If you want to download it, make sure you check out the link down below. If you want the server to host it on, check out servermine.com for the best and cheapest hosting. And if you want to check me out, I'll be in the link as well. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.